Well, Brian, doesn't the governor have the authority to sui sponte order an investigation into pretty much anything within the state? Of course he does. He could order an investigation into this right now. Brian, you're kidding me, right? You guys have got all kinds of statutory authority. You know, look at that. The Penn State scandal, child abuse. You can go after minorities and women. Uh, you can go after people with cameras. Uh, well, of course, it won't work with me because I was a state attorney and a First Amendment attorney. I'm not having any of that. Hmm, let's take a look. You can write out here. I'm with him. Well, you can write out here. No, Brian, I'm going to have to respectfully decline that offer. You work in a public building and you're a public servant. Okay, and specifically, you're supposed to serve this man, Randy Paul. But you haven't been. So now Tammy Baldwin has written letters to the banks because you guys have been ignoring the fact that he's clearly getting shafted by the banksters and Judge Collis. Okay, we're going to get into that in just a moment. Welcome to Wisconsin. That's the kind of treatment you always get around this state. Heaven's everywhere, guys. I hope so. Oh, you used to like him and now you don't, and I understand why. As Mick would say, please allow me to introduce myself. I've been a journalist for a major press, an editor for major press, and a system too often corrupt. I've been a state attorney and private attorney in a system too often corrupt. Uh, these days, I sue the government for First Amendment infringements, uh, people like Kelly Ayotte. Uh, I also help change laws in Nashua, New Hampshire, as you can see there, with an alderman. And generally, uh, honest politicians tend to like me. I get mayoral accommodations, things of that nature. The dishonest ones don't. Anyway, I make videos about situations that you're about to see. Yesterday's video got 3,000 hits in a day. Here we are, back to the story. But the Attorney General is backing the judge, and the judge, I've seen the judge violate the law, sir. Sir. But sir, you're telling me again, answer my question. Are you telling me that if the governor knew that police were raping children, sir, that he would have no authority sir, to do anything? Is that what you're telling me? Sir. Relax. Is that what you're telling me? Can you please stop yelling in our office? Okay, well, if you walk over here instead of running away from me, I wouldn't have to yell, now would I? I would have this conversation just like this, right? Okay. Now then, are you telling me that the governor does not have the authority to commence investigations of I've given you the information that you know. Sir, I'm asking and, you calmly, uh, as you said, thank you guys for answering me, okay? I'm asking you a simple question. So the governor does have the authority then to commence investigations of criminal activity, right? The, the court there's a fraud is happening black and white you would think somebody would want to stop the fraud going on don't understand it maybe the whole system is a fraud it is I sent letters. There's letters that I sent to off here. And no response at all whatsoever. We you know he's facing a potential recall petition for a number of reasons, uh, for electing uh, the lesser privileged, let's say. So. You can write out here. I'm with him. Well, you can write out here. Okay, what's the purpose of why do I have to wait out here? I don't know. I'm gonna talk to him in here. Well, Mr. Paul? Mr. Paul? Yeah. You don't have to talk to him in there, you can talk to him right here. Oh. He'd he'd prefer this to be documented. Well, we'd rather have a document because unless they're because this is getting pretty okay. Well, it's fine. I mean, I, I can sign for anything. There's certain something. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you should. So, I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah. Is this a public building? Is this, is this a public building? Uh, this, this office is closed. 
This office is private. Yes. Okay. Well, because so what Mr. Paul, I'm right standing right up there. Yeah, okay. Yep. Because what Mr. Paul is discussing here involves, you know, uh, well, I, I considerable understand. amount of public concern, <laughs> serious matters of public concern. <laughs> The foreclosure fraud. I myself have witnessed the judge allow two receiverships against his properties where the uh, banks have not produced one iota of evidence that they have standing to foreclose in the first instance. I was a licensed title insurance producer and an assistant attorney general. I'm watching this go down. I'm not liking it. And so that's what he's here to talk about today. And it's it's very, very serious. Sure. No. We will sometimes get questions like this, but the attorney general is the one who represents the but the attorney general is backing the judge, and the judge, I've seen the judge violate the law, sir. If, if, sir. If, if we get an issue, we will refer to the attorney general. The attorney general has statutory authority to do that on their own. Well, counsel, you said that you are going to have to be absolutely sure. Well, Brian, doesn't the governor have the authority to sui sponte order an investigation into pretty much anything within the state? Of course he does. You can order an investigation into this right now. He is not. We don't, we don't have people who do that. I mean, we, we don't. Uh, there's a, there's a, there's no authority of the Attorney General's office. There's no authority of the judges. Those are separate, separate offices elected by the people. And uh, with separate statutory powers that the governor does not receive. So, not going to take that. There's nothing I can do with that. Uh, I mean, what I probably do is just take it and report it to the Attorney General's office. So if the governor knew that the, the police were raping children, he would have no authority to, to commence an investigation. Is that what you're telling me? The, the, arm, the arm of the state is, uh, there is the district attorney who would have the power of prosecuting crimes. Right. So why doesn't he approach the district attorney then? The district attorney is under the control of the governor. But, sir, you're telling me again, answer my question. Are you telling me that if the governor knew that police were raping children, sir, that he would have no authority to do anything? Is that what you're telling me? Sir, relax. Is that what you're telling me? Can you please stop yelling in our office? Okay, well, if you walk over here instead of running away from me, I wouldn't have to yell, now would I? I would have this conversation just like this, right? Okay, now then, are you telling me that the governor does not have the authority? to commence investigations of I've given you the information that you know. Sir, I'm asking and, you calmly, uh, as you said, thank you guys. you're not answering me, okay? I'm asking you a simple question. So the governor does have the authority then to commence investigations of criminal activity, right? Sir, are you fearful of retaliation because of your stance on these issues and, and asking government to be accountable? Yes, I mean, a lot of people, they don't like when you make waves and trying to fight for your rights. You know, that's all I'm trying to do is fight for my rights. And I see all the wrongdoings. I have everything in black and white. Everything's certified in, pay, in the court. It's all the paperwork's filed, showing fraud shown on the paper, on the paperwork. And yes, I'm afraid of retaliation. Basically, he's defending Judge Collis, and Judge Collis has allowed twice now. I, I, I'm with Mortgage Movies, and I, I was an assistant attorney general and title insurance producer, and I've seen that Judge Collis now has twice allowed receivership against this man's properties when the uh, banks, Acre Bank and uh, Union Federal, have not produced one iota of evidence that they have standing to foreclose. And, and there's current law on that this year in the case of Aurora Services versus uh, Carlson from this state earlier this year. So yeah, it's, it's very, very serious. And I've, I've come in from out of town, I'm on the East Coast, you know, to, uh, to follow this kind of thing and see, yeah. see what happens. And so. I'll make sure that this gets over there and it, it'll get over to the spar area, so it gets over today. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you. At pinkcast.net, Mortgage Movies. What are we here for today, sir? I'm gonna drop off some paperwork to Tammy Baldwin. Who's Tammy Baldwin? Uh, Congress lady for this district in Wisconsin. I understand. Isn't she the same one who wrote you a letter uh, regarding Anchor Bank about uh, half a year ago? Yes. And what was the nature of that letter? Um, I was asking to produce the note. They didn't produce the note. They said the debt was not settled. I have verification shown the debt is settled, and I want my note. OK. 
Okay. We have not produced it yet. Very well then. Uh, let's go upstairs and see what happens. Okay, thank you. Yes, I talked to somebody else before, and they were helping me with the paperwork and everything Probably else. Yeah. It might have been. Okay. She emailed me back and forth sure. several times. Sure. She sent a letter, and they were trying to get to the bottom of this okay. with Anchor Bank. Yep. All the basically fraud that they're committing, showing with the note, and then they came back with the showing that they still owed a debt or something. That's why they wouldn't produce the note. Well, here's satisfaction showing proof. Full satisfaction. So they have no excuses no more without reproducing the note and giving it back to me. What? Okay, well, you should speak with her. I know she's out right now, but... Uh... Yes, yeah, because, I mean, this is getting crazy. I mean, there's a lot of corruption going on here in this town. Yeah, I was I even have to... another mortgage, one here, too, paid in full and everything else. I didn't receive my note. I just thought Tammy could help out or whatever. She sent letters to them. She sure. been very well, cooperative. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I was with him in court the other day. I, I used to be a licensed title insurance producer, and I was an assistant uh, attorney general also, and I, I was you know, following this man's case, and I find that he has been uh, on the bad end of receivership findings uh, in court twice now with where the banks, Anchor Bank and uh, Union Federal, have not produced one iota of standing, you know, nothing to prove that they have standing to foreclose on him, and so it's all tied in together. You can have that. Okay. You can have the yes. I make copies. Whatever. Great. Here she can show this with okay. anchor. Okay. And then if she, with this one too, showing, which I don't even know. I mean, I'm the debtor. Mm -hmm. They have. I found out later, American Mortgage Services, which everybody knows that was a farce. Mortgage Services, whatever, don't exist. And next minute, they use them as the debtor. How wrong is that? And they never produced the note with that, and that's satisfied in full too. It's a security instrument that I would like to have back that or use it for collateral. Against the property. It's definitely an Article 8 instrument. Okay, well, I'll have okay did you want my telephone number again? I've also read Her Excellency's uh, you know, uh, pronouncements you know, to the AG, hoping that he does not settle these, uh, you know, the outstanding issues with the banks right now, and that's important too, because what's going on now is that the AG's office has actually taken the judge's side. He's countersued the judge for denial of substantive and procedural due process, and it's pretty evident that, that he's been denied these processes, you know, so uh, by virtue of them having the receiverships with no finding of standing, you know, to foreclose in the first place. Uh, there's a great law on that, which is Aurora, Aurora Services versus Carlson, 20 miles down the road here th this year. So the thing is, now the AG's office, and we can bring this up to you later, they filed a motion to dismiss on behalf of, of Judge Colas. So they're taking his side. And it's like, well, I, as an assistant AG myself, I would never, I could never, you know, do that in good faith. You know, you're supposed to uphold the law, not just protect the judge because you have a contract, that kind of thing. He, he was warned to twice, whatever, notice a felony, and he still overrode it and gave him receivership without. Yeah, they, I came anything. in from Boston, uh, the East Coast, yesterday for a hearing. They wait till uh, we get there, then they notify us at that time of the hearing that there's not going to be any hearing, and they say that they tried to notify him, they couldn't Never find right. his name in the file. His name's all in the court record. My telephone number, everything else for evictions for other tenants and everything. It's just. It's getting really, really bad, and I have it all black and white documented. And they made sure that they, uh, the court allowed two receiverships against him, all right, without any proof of standing whatsoever. And so I document that. I go to court. I flew out for Boston, and they, they canceled the hearing at the last minute today, uh, uh, yesterday. Didn't tell us. Didn't call him. No notice to him. Now, so we went to the AG's office, governor's office, congressional office today, and just Google mortgage movies. Mortgage movie, wow. yes, and you'll see it. There's already a movie from yesterday. By the way, welcome to Wisconsin. That's kind of creepy. You always get around this state. <laughs> <laughs> Happens everywhere, guys. Oh, yeah. We're going to take care of it for you. I hope so. Yes, sir. It's against me. I think we should write a fucking letter and have him fucking Walker served at his fucking house. The corruption going on. Don't tell me that you don't have fucking rights over the attorney general. I don't believe that. Exactly. He could, like I said, that's what I said in the video. He could commence an investigation anytime he wants to. He, you know, it's it's within his uh, discretionary authority. And you know, you used to like him, and now you don't. And I understand why. Please hang up and try again.